We're here in Adobe Lightroom. I'm going to press the camera icon in the lower right corner. Here we go, Adobe Camera. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is a couple of different things. Um, there's the shutter speed, which is right here, the ISO. Now, the ISO works like your film speed. The higher you go to 1600, the better the low light conditions. The lower you go to like say 50 or below, if you could, would be for a bright light. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick you. I'm gonna overcompensate just a little bit. Let's go really bright. Oh no, it's too bright. Let's see if we can adjust the shutter speed and make it, whoa. So wait a minute, if I adjust the shutter speed, I can actually make it stronger? That's true, the image quality got stronger. Now let's take the ISO and go back down. Oh no, it's really dark. Well, guess what? Using the shutter speed, you can actually compensate and get it to be where it needs to go. I'm gonna take my shutter speed to be a longer exposure. We're at 360. I'm gonna compensate. And Ani, you're gonna spin in three, two, one, spin. Picture, 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 picture. And let's take a look at that. So the photo shoot is complete, and now I'm gonna to have to go through the pictures and evaluate which are the ones that I like and curate. Some I will like and some I will not like. So far, I'm not really feeling anything. I'm not getting good motion. Like I like her skirt being puffy, but her arms are chopped off. This one, pretty good action, but I'm not feeling good movement. So I'm just gonna keep going. Wow, great movement. However, she's off to the side. This one, you know what? I do like this one, not bad movement. You can even see at the top of her hat, it's uh, kind of clear, but she's blurry because she's moving. I'm kind of feeling this, but well, let's just keep a look here. Ooh, she's not gonna like her hand. I am not gonna use that one. Now this is cute. This was from the photo shoot that I did right before the last take. And you can see it's a little bit more blue. And honestly, I do like the, uh, the movement of the hair and the strawberries are looking good and good action. Her legs look a little wonky, but you know what? Her hands are in the shot. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I like that. Her skirt's a little flying up. She may not like that. And this one, same thing. Whoa, a little bit high on the skirt. Let's not go there. Um, yeah, I think it's between this one and that one. That's pretty much the deal. You curate the photos. Now remember, lower that ISO speed to extend length and then compensate with the shutter to get the photo that you want. All right, so here we are. We're gonna get Ani moving all the way through the shot. In order to do this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank my ISO up a lot and it's overexposed. Next, I go to my shutter speed and I'm gonna kind of try to get it to go as good as I can. And here we go, Ani go, action. All right, so she's coming through the shot. Here we go, there she is. No, my hat. And that's it. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> well, that's not gonna work. Take two. So we're about to start our next shot where you can see all of our settings are pretty good. This one, I'm gonna rotate the camera and what I'm gonna do is have her drive by. Let's go. Now what I'm gonna try to do is literally catch her as she comes flying by at supersonic speed. She's gonna yell something as she flies by. Here we go, picture. Oh, I hope I got it. Well, let's just take a look. Did I get it? No, of course. Gosh darn it, I gotta do this again and again and again. Well, the photo shoot is done. It's now time for us to curate our shots and pick out the ones that we like the most. Um, you'll never know what you're gonna get. Like this was us fooling around, can't use that. This one, a little bit dark and not working. She'd pass through the shot. The first one, as you remember, we were panning the camera, trying to get a blurry background and make her be clear, which I'm kind of getting here, but I don't like it. It could work if I, oh, that one's cute. So again, we're trying to get a little blurry background. I like the way her hat looks right there. 
Uh, there's a little like a thing on the asphalt, which I'm not so keen on. I could always get rid of it. That does look pretty good. Um, that would be number two. On, and then as you can tell, we moved over to the, I'm going to hold the camera still. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of blew that one. Uh, yeah, so we're now we're holding the camera still as she jams through the shot. That's not bad. I like the way the hat blew off her head right at the wrong time. Press the button too late. And hello, we have a winner. I actually do like this. This is pretty good. So this is her zipping through the shot at full speed and uh, me holding the camera still. Hey, look, that's my finger up there. Whoops. Oh, well. You know what? I can just crop that out and nobody will ever know. Shh, don't tell internet, but my finger's in the shot. Okay, that'll do it. Curating, done. I know the two pictures I'm going to use. Here are the final pictures. I hope you like them. Don't forget, Bentley Tech, EDU. See you guys real soon.